Tutorial 1. Simple select from a single table using SQL queries. By DS Pundit. Before we begin the actual tutorial, let us first understand the sample data. We are using a single table called, My Student. This table has four columns and six rows. This is the first row which gives information about a student named, Peter. And this fourth row gives information about Julia. This column named, Forename, contains name for each student. This is the second column in the table. The last column contains the date of birth for the students. Selecting everything from a table is probably one of the simplest SQL operations. The syntax for this is, select star from table name, followed by a semicolon. We are using, my student, table. So we need to use, my student, in place of table name in the syntax. Hence the statement becomes, select star from my student. After executing this statement in SQL editor, with given sample data, the output will be as shown in the below image. You must have noticed that, select star from my student, returns all columns from my student table. Instead of using star, we can also use explicit column names after the keyword select. In this example, we have mentioned the names of all columns in the order in which they exist in the table, and the output is identical to the select star query. Now let's look at this example in which, although, we have selected all columns, but not in the same order in which they exist in the table. This is also a valid SQL query. However, it is different than the select star query. Because in the output, the columns will be displayed as requested by us, in this statement. Which means that forename column will be displayed first, followed by roll number, gender and date of birth respectively. This is how we can adjust the column sequence in the output of our SQL query, irrespective of the column sequence in the table involved. Instead of selecting all columns from a table, we can also select few columns. Let's see this SQL query, in which, we have selected only two columns. The output will be as shown below. Select statements also allow us to process or format the data in the columns before giving the final output. Suppose that for some reason, the requirement is such that we need to increment the value in column, roll number, by 20, and along with it show the name in upper case. This can be achieved by using addition arithmetic operator on rule number column and by using a text formatting function called upper on the column forename. Many such operators and functions are available as part of SQL syntax. Here is the output of the query used by us. Let's compare the values in the output with the original sample data. You will notice that the label or heading of the first column is showing the arithmetic operation used, and the values are incremented by 20 as required. The values in second column are converted to uppercase as required and even here the heading is showing the function used. Thus, we have achieved the required formatting of the values in the output. However, the labels or the headings of the columns got changed unintentionally. So let's also learn to fix the column heading. SQL queries allow you to give an alias to column names or expressions used after select keyword. This is optional and in case you wish to give a different heading to the columns in the output data, then you can use this feature. For the previous example, let's make use of this feature to change the column headings. And you can see the new headings in the output. Apart from values in columns, select statements can also return constants. As an example, take a look at this SQL query. After select keyword, this query has a text constant, a numeric constant, and names of two columns. When such a query returns the output, 
the constants get printed on each row alongside the values of columns. This will be clear from the output given below. Select statements can also return some special values like current date, current time etc. These are neither constants, nor columns. In this example, we are printing current time in the output on each row. If you notice, it is not a constant value, because when we executed the query once again after some time, a different value was printed. In this example, the keyword current underscore time has printed time in our minute and second format when the query was executed. Let's do a recap of what we have done so far and what is yet to be covered in this series. In this first video we learned how to select data from a single table using SQL statements. If you need a script to create sample data and try the SQL statements, it will be given in the description. Please review the script and use only in a testing or dummy database. The subsequent videos will throw light on some other aspects of SQL statements like order by clause, where clause, group by, handling null values, dealing with multiple tables using joins, and more such topics. So stay connected by subscribing to this channel. Hope you found this video useful and thank you for your time.